Hey guys, it's time to relax the sore and tired feet. Oh, we're gonna get some relaxation today. Hey guys, welcome back to Tracy's Place. I am here with a video on my Max Care Foot Spa. I am so excited about this. I have been wanting to get one of these for years. I got my mother and father one some years ago, but I never got myself one. And my daughter just got one too. Down at college, she got one, and um, hers is, is nice, too. She just got it, I think, today or yesterday. But anyway, I got this from Amazon. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's the Max Care, and this is what it looks like. I'm just taking it out of the pack. Oh, this is the box that it came in. Came like this on my porch. And it's the Foot Spa Massager with heat, bubbles, and vibration I need that in my life yes I do so anyway this is what it looks like these are the heat settings up here and look at that look at that and I got the Dr. Teal's I got this from Roses the Dr. Teal's pure Epsom salt soaking solution and this is the relax and relief with eucalyptus and spearmint and yeah i'm excited about using this i'm going to show you uh how it works and i am going to give you a review of how i liked it and unless something's wrong with this little unit here this little product i don't foresee not liking it because this one heats up to the temperature that you want it to heat up to so that makes it even better. I've heard other people have problems and issues with the ones that just says heat, that it's heated. But this one, you can control the heat. And it got good reviews. So, yeah, I'm going to go through this manual. Then I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set it up. Max Care did not pay me to do the review for this video, but so you won't have to go searching around Amazon, you can go to the drop down description below this video to go straight to the product and purchase from Amazon. First, you want to lay your spa down on a towel that's on plastic, and you want to take the isopropyl alcohol and clean out the inside of the spa. That way, you get it sanitized from the factory residue. Okay, you guys, you do not want to skip this Dr. Teal's Epsom salt in the eucalyptus and spearmint. Oh my goodness, the smell is amazing. So, this is going to be the only video so far that I've seen that you can find out how to get this storage box open. I could not find it on the videos on Amazon or on YouTube. So, I'm going to show you how to open this, and then also I'm going to show you how to just add it to the water in a later clip. But this little, see this right here? You just turn it. You just turn it to the left, and then it opens. I tried to do this before, and it wouldn't. Anyway, go ahead and add the Epsom salt in there, and it's going to dissolve in your water as the bubbles, you know, kind of push it out and everything but I could not find out how to open it before and I tried to I didn't want to pull it and break it or anything but yeah that's how you open and get the Epsom salt in all right so we're going to go ahead and add the Dr. Teal's Epsom salt this is the second second way to do it because like I said I couldn't find out how to do it before but right now I'm going to show you how to just add it to your water okay so you're going to take the Dr. Teal's and you're going to add it to the warm now I added warm water I added my water already warm. You don't have to do this, but this was just tap water that I ran from the, the hot spigot. I put it in this, um, you know, drinking container and just added the Epsom salt to about one fourth of a cup. And yeah, but before you put it in, y'all read your instructions. Always read the instructions so you can find out about the plug and what you can and can't hook it up to. And yeah. Get all your instructions first but anyway go ahead and add your water now yep just add it on in there and there's a fill line you can there's a minimal fill line and a maximum fill line don't go past the maximum line this is the outlet plug okay it's about oh, about two and a half feet possibly so it's not a long plug this is what it looks like after you plug it up and these are the controls up here. After you hit the power button and turn it on, it automatically displays the temperature that the water is at. 
okay I just turned the vibration on and I can feel the vibration going you can hear it and we're gonna go ahead and turn on those bubbles oh yes perfect 103 degrees is a good temperature to stick your feet in at you can do 98 degrees or whatever but at this point you can go ahead and hit the arrow buttons up or down if you want to increase the heat or if you want to turn it down i apologize i didn't show you but i set mines to 108 after i stuck my feet in i pushed the up arrow and set it to 108 and it's going to start adjusting little by little so your feet don't you know shock it takes a couple of minutes for it to increase in temperature so we're going to do that and it fluctuates a little bit it's kind of setting itself up at any time you can stop the bubbles and then restart them if you want to you can stop the vibration and start it back if you want to just push the button and see now it's going up in temperature and it just eases up and it feels so good here you see me just kind of rolling my feet back and forth with the roller you can take the rollers out if you want to if you don't like them but they help with a good foot massage oh my goodness i'm at 107 right now this feels good but 108 is perfect for me i don't want to go any further this is perfect okay i loved it i really did like i said max care did not pay me to do the review on this spa and this is a honest review but you guys if you like what you've seen go on down to the description box below and order this the link takes you straight to amazon for this product oh you guys please do not skip on this dr teal soaking solution this epsom salt the eucalyptus and spearmint i don't even want to try anything else i've tried the, lav the lavender and it was good but this eucalyptus and spearmint oh was everything my feet feel refreshed and revived i will try to put the link for this also down in the description box below all right go ahead and unplug it and now you guys it is time to clean it out so go ahead and rinse it out with water and then i just rubbed it again with the alcohol to sanitize it and you are good to go now if your feet were real dirty you do want to use a mild detergent and go ahead and wash it out rinse it real good but other than that you're good to go enjoy the spa